What's up guys? Welcome back to Ridge Cajun Outdoors. Today, we're on fishing. I've got a Benita. If you guys can see that, Benita. Yeah, Benita. Hook up. Alright, guys. He choked that one. I don't know if you guys can see that. But this is a Benita. Pacific Benita. Alright, so we're going to release this guy. <laughs> Pretty cool, guys. Alright, guys. Everett has got a calico on. What are you fishing with? Hook up? Again, guys, we're just fishing this little cove right here. Um, calicos are mainly going to catch. We're kind of fishing like a little cat bed. Um, that's pretty much all to it. It's not really that hard. How's it going? Oh, he choked it. Oh, he ate half of it. Fish. <laughs> Another fish. Like I said, Mantle Pro, local pro. <laughs> what is that? Five. Calico, a little lipless rip bait, or uh, jerk bait really. Calico, pretty pretty fish. Awesome. Oh my God. You guys, this oh is a big God. calico. That's like the size of what I this That's is a big calico. Oh, <laughs> it's five pounds, baby. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, that's a five pound calico. Oh my God. Yes! I only got one bar left here. Yes! Please show that baby off. You guys, that is a big calico. Yes! Sweet, dude! 
Told you it was getting oh. good. Fish hound, Mr. DZ. Benita? Oh, catch of the day, boys. There it is. Catch of the day. DZ's not starving tonight. All right, guys, we're heading in. We may or may not drown. So, you can't see the breakers, but they're getting big. All right, guys, we'll see you right before we hit the beach. Fish out. You. There we go. Hey, Everett. Good bass, guys. That's a good bass. Ooh, calm down, guys. That. It's a good bass. All right. Later. Let's get back to land. Not die. Guess I'm going first. That doesn't look too bad, dude. Like, for real, it doesn't look bad. <laughs> dude, hey. I'll be the guinea pig. with you guys is the first time I've ever not timed a wave right but uh, it happens so uh, it's all good uh, stay out in front of the end of the day uh, coming up we're gonna show you guys what we've been using and uh, I'm gonna show you guys not only what I was using but uh, also these other guys and what was working for us and what wasn't so uh, yeah stay tuned to the end of the video and uh, see you back at the room what's up guys we're back in the room we're dry and uh, I just want to take time to uh, show you guys what different baits we're using. I know in a bunch of YouTube channels, they'll show you them catching fish, but they don't actually show you the methods they were using and the baits they were using. So I want to take time and show you guys um, about this. So we started off using hookup baits, <clears throat> and this worked out very well for us. We use hookup baits a lot. And a lot of you guys in Louisiana might not know what hookup baits are. These baits are phenomenal. They're outstanding. They're awesome. Uh, basically what they look like, they look like it's just a little tube, right, with a jig head on the top and a hook running through it. And basically what this is going to do is you're going to cast this out and you're going to wait for it to hit the bottom. Once it's hit the bottom, all you're going to do is you're going to jig it up and let it flutter down. Okay. Now, the method I use for this, th again, this is me, this is not, I'm not a professional fisherman by any means, but this is basically what I do, is I would throw this out, wait for it to hit the bottom, and from there, I do a little a cadence with it. So I'll do a little twitch it once, let it hit the bottom, twitch it twice, let it flutter to the bottom, and three times, and then let it hit the bottom. 
and then I'll repeat that process over and over and over again until it gets back to the boat. Then you cast out and repeat it again. <clears throat> now, another thing you could do is instead of hookup baits, because these are expensive, they're worth the money, but for um, about three of them, they're going to cost you about nine to ten dollars. Um, these also come in multiple different colors. All right, this is not the same color or the only color they have. They have multiple colors. I like this one. Um, it's more of a gray with uh, flakes inside. They also come in different colors like this one. This one's a solid gray. They have orange, green, uh, pretty much any color you can think of. Uh, they also come in different sizes. So a bigger size, a medium size. I usually use the medium size one. And a smaller finesse size uh, hookup bait. And then, like I said, there's other ways you can do this. Uh, another cheap way to do this and get the same results or just use a basic paddle tail. So uh, your basic paddle tail is gonna do the same thing for you basically. Um, and you're just gonna cast it out there and retrieve it. Uh, just like you would a hookup bait. One way I do uh, the finesse uh, way is these are a little bit smaller paddle tails. All right, you can see these are really, really, really small. But all I do is I hook up uh, a Ned rig. So if you don't know what a Ned rig is, uh, you bass fishermen probably know what a Ned rig is. So a uh, Ned rig is just a solid weight on the top that is flat. So basically when you hop it across the bottom, it's going to stand up or should stand up. That way the fish is going to grab the top of it. It's going to grab a mouthful of hook basically. Uh, and this is more your finesse style fishing. Okay. Um, you can do this, obviously we do this with the bigger style baits with a bigger size Ned rig or, or something along the size like a shaky head or something like that. Um, you could also take a swim jig, okay, either underspin or a regular swim jig and swim it across the surface. You're going to get the same reaction bite out of them. And all these different methods are basically the methods we use. Oh, are the methods that we use um, to catch calicos and basically Benita is going to eat anything but we're trying to target calicos, calico bass and a calico bass is going to be almost exactly like a regular largemouth bass, it's just salt water if that makes any sense. Another bait that we were using is a, uh, a Shimano uh, Colt Sniper and basically that's what this is. Okay. These also come in different uh, sizes and colors. Uh, this one is a I want to say a green mackerel, so you can see on the top. If you can see that, but it has that mackerel look on the top, and it comes with two different trebles: one in the center and one in the back, a trailing one. These also come in uh, pink back. So pink back was the one my buddy was using was catching the calicos, uh, sand eel, bunker, different other uh, combinations. But uh, this was how we were using this were the calicos were really aggressive this day um, so what we were doing we were casting it out and we would let it almost hit the bottom and then we were just jerking it across all right uh, normally I'd fish this a little I wouldn't say more finesse but I wouldn't fish it as aggressive as we did but that's just what the, the fish wanted that day and as you guys know the fish they're, they're picky sometimes so that's what they wanted. They wanted that aggressive movement, aggressive retrieve back to the boat. And um, once we figured that out, it was, uh, it was pretty good and we ended up catching them back to back to back. Other baits you can use are these just re uh, regular uh, uh, lipless or lip uh, crank baits or uh, jerk baits, uh, pretty much anything along those lines. But the jerk baits, all right, these were working really, really great for us too. It's a uh, cheap way to get by if you don't have, uh, you know, these Shimano's. Uh, Shimano's aren't really that expensive, but these, I mean, you could, you could pick up, like this is a deep diver one. You could pick this up for, you know, five bucks and a Bass Pro in a clearance aisle. It's super easy. These also come with great hooks, by the way. Uh, the Shimano's, I love Shimano, but they really don't do a great job with their hooks. So um, these hooks are good for now, but you guys are going to want uh, better hook quality um, and basically how I'm going to gauge this is you can look at it and tell what quality the hooks are but an easier way to do this too 
Um, you you would call these uh, sticky hooks. You'll hear this hear this phrase multiple times. These are sticky hooks. So what, basically, when we say a hook is sticky, is when you're grabbing it, it's going to want to cling to your skin. Now a lot of hooks are going to do this. So what I do is you're going to take your nail and you're going to take the hook and basically if it doesn't dig into your nail the hook quality might not be you know as good as you want it to be it's not going to be that laser sharp you're looking for so that's one way of doing it but yeah if you guys want to see exactly what the setup i was using uh reel line rods anything like that let me know down in the comments and i'll make a video on that for you guys but this is a quick layover of all the baits that we were using now you can use a lot of different other baits and uh, and be successful. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. And remember, you guys have one life, your life, so live it. And please thank God and your parents for giving you the life that you have.